Trank is one of the uh, street names for a drug called xylazine. Dr. Scott Phillips is the executive medical director at the Washington Poison Center and has a background in medical toxicology. He is closely watching xylazine being used as an illegal drug. It's been around since the early 60s, um, but mostly it was really never used in humans because of side effects. That's because xylazine is used as a tranquilizer for large animals like cows and horses. Uh, and it's sedating. It's a cousin of a blood pressure medicine that we've used for decades. But lately, more than ever, people are using it as an illicit drug, and it's increasingly showing up in the East Coast. Dr. Phillips says he hasn't seen many cases in western Washington yet. But it's kind of moving really into our area, and I think everyone's going to be impacted by this at some point. It just remains to be seen how quickly. This concerns Dr. Phillips, who also tracks fentanyl overdoses in western Washington. He says the drug is often combined with fentanyl and other drugs like meth, creating a very dangerous effect. How detrimental is it to the human body? Well, it's pretty incapacitating, you know, with its effect on, on slowing the brain down. It also lowers the blood pressure, lowers the heart rate, uh, and can make you uh, unresponsive. And naloxone, the drug used to reverse a potentially deadly opioid overdose, does not work on someone who is also high on xylazine. It causes some pretty significant skin wounds as well. And that's just one of its effects. It also causes the blood vessels to constrict. And so you don't get good blood flow to some of the injection sites. All of this making xylazine addiction difficult to treat and further complicating the existing opioid crisis. It'll stress some of our uh, systems to deal with it because of the multiple effects it has. For HealthLink, I'm Christine Pei.